Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today I'm evaluating Zoho Books on Case 6, on Chapter 6 of the Fit Small Business Case Study. So this deals with project accounting. Um, so our first goal is to issue an estimate for a job titled the Family Kitchen, the Family Bowling Kitchen Remodel. So let's go to our estimates, which is under our sales. So estimates. Let's create a new estimate. Uh, this is for family bowling. Okay, estimate date is fine. Um, let's add a project here. So it is not the bathroom renovation. This is the kitchen remodel. Okay, family bowling, fixed cost. So looking at my, my estimate here, we're estimating it is going to cost $1,050. That's what we're going to bill the customer. Um, our actual cost is looking like it's going to be uh, $310. No, $400. So $300 in labor and $100 in plumbing widgets. Okay, and the revenue is that $1,050 that we're going to bill the customer. Okay, so let's hit save and select. So that is just setting up our project. Huh. Why is it wanting to save? Not sure what's going on here. Try one more time. Huh. Okay, so it looks like it must have set it up. Okay, uh, so now we're back in our estimate. Um, so let's, uh, we are going, our estimate is for uh, 10 hours. So contract labor of 10 hours at a rate of $80 an hour. And we're going to use plumbing widgets. We plan on using 10 of them and those will be subject to sales tax. Okay, so that is our estimate of $1,065. That was easy enough. We can save and send it. I don't want to actually send an email, so I'm just going to cancel. And then here, let's uh, mark it as sent. Okay, so that is our estimate. That was simple enough. Um, so now let's record some expenses on the project. So on uh, March 22nd, you pay Hank $30 per hour for 12 hours. So we're not going to use the time tracking because this is an independent contractor. So we are just going to, um, and I think we can actually do that. Let's do this in the projects module, which is inside time tracking. So now we have the kitchen remodel project. Okay, and so we can record this as a purchases. Okay. Um, expense, let's do, I know we want to do it as a bill so we can use items. So let's record a new bill to Hank Independent. For contract labor. Now we budgeted for 10 hours, but it actually took him 12 hours. So we're going to change this to 12. Okay, so we're actually paying $360 instead of the $300 that we budgeted. So let's say save as open. So we still owe him the 360. Okay, so let's look now in our projects, see how that shows up. Okay, so our budgeted cost is 300. Our actual cost is 360. So why was our budgeted cost only 300? Didn't I put 400? Let's edit our project. Yeah, so it's okay. Some reason I only put 300. This should be 400. 
which is the contract labor plus the uh, 10 widgets at $10 a piece. Okay, there we go. So our budgeted cost is 400. Our actual up to this point is $360. Okay, um, now let's record the usage of eight widgets. So the way we're going to do that is to actually bill, is to, uh, to bill the customer now for the project. So let's go to sales. Let's look at this estimate and let's convert the estimate to an invoice. Okay, now, so we're going to bill them our actual, and so our contract labor was 12 hours, and our plumbing widget was eight, out, eight plumbing widgets, so we're going to actually bill them 1172, so let's save and send it. Okay, and uh, again, I don't want to actually send an email, and we'll mark this as sent. Okay, now let's look at our project screen. Okay, so our budgeted cost is 400. Our actual cost is 360. Our budgeted revenue is 1,050. Actual revenue, 1160. So our actual cost here is not including the inventory um, that should have come out on the invoice. Yeah, so we're able to we're able to assign direct expenses to the project, but and I've I've tried this in several different ways that were not on this video of of trying to get the inventory that we use so the the plumbing widgets that we're using out of our inventory how to get them into our project costs and I haven't been able to do that so we we did it for on the invoice All right so we we did an invoice of 1172 that invoice included um, inventory and so of, of eight units so let's look here let's drill down here into our uh, into our cost of goods sold account and see if it's including it should be including some cost of goods sold for those eight widgets. Yeah, right here are those eight widgets. So our invoice is doing it correctly, right? So our invoice is recording the $80 of cost of goods sold expense, but when we go over here to our project it's not showing that cost of goods sold into our project costs so that's a little bit of a problem let's look at our profitability report oh well here we go okay so this is so it is showing the cost of goods sold here okay so it shows our actual sales cost of goods sold Okay, so our profit and loss by project looks really good. Um, but the problem is when we look at the actual versus budgeted, our cost of goods sold is not showing up in the actual. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and fill out our scorecard here. Uh, creating an estimate was easy. We assigned it to the project. We added labor to the estimate. We added inventory to the estimate. We added sales tax. Um, we assigned the actual labor to the project. The labor was easy. Record the actual inventory used in the project. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a point to that because on the report it showed the inventory that was used. Now report comparing actual to estimated labor and inventory I'm going to give it half a point because in its comparison it did not include the uh, actual inventory
so pretty good for projects. Um, really, it's it's obvious to me, and even the fact that it's built into the time, the timesheet system, is the projects here are really meant more for um, time-intensive projects than things that are going to have a lot of inventory, like the uh, the the plumbing widgets here. So. You know, although also you have the purchases module. So if you're purchasing materials that go directly into the job, that should be um, easy enough. The problem is when you're using in when you're using materials that you already have in your inventory. The the problem is getting those out of your inventory into your actual costs of the project shown on this screen. So that's uh, chapter six of the Fit Small Business case study for Zoho Books.